Okay, these two questions are about uh, drift velocity. So for the first one, we have two wires of the same material that are connected in series with each other and wire A has twice the diameter of wire B and we need to find the relation between the current that goes through these wires and the drift speed. Now, the formula that we're going to need for this uh, question is the one that links current with the, um, the number of electrons per uh, unit volume, the charge um, density, right? That depends on the, on the material. So since these two wires are of the same material, that means they have the same charge density. And then we have Q, which is the charge of the electron which again is both in both in the, in, the, in the two wires. Then we have the drift velocity of the electrons. And then we have the area, the cross-sectional area of the two, of the two wires. Now, um, the first column is asking us to compare the current in each wire. Now, since these two wires are connected in series, we know that in a series circuit, the current is everywhere the same. So that means the current that goes through these wires will be exactly the same. So the ratio of these two currents will be one. So either this or that, definitely not C, definitely not D. Now, the second column, we need to compare the, the drift speed, the drift velocity on, on the two wires. Therefore, I will just rearrange that formula into we rearrange it with the subject to be the drift velocity so i'll be able to to compare them so this is what it is then i'm gonna see what's happening in wire a and wire b so we're trying to see how is the current the charge density the charge and the cross-sectional area different to these two wires so as we said earlier the wires are from the same material, so N will be the same in both. Then, the charge of the electron, of course, it will be the same in both. We already said that since they are connected in series, the current that goes through these two wires are also the same. The only thing that is different, it will be the cross-sectional area, because they have different diameter. So, the area of wire A it will be pi diameter over two. We know that this is the, the formula for diameter, but it says that wire A has twice the diameter of wire B. So in that case, we will write 2D because it has twice the diameter. So the twos will be cancel out. Therefore, area of the cross-section area of wire A will be pi diameter square. So the area for the cross section area for wire B, it will be pi d over 2 square. Therefore, this will be pi d square over 4. All right, so, and if this is the cross section area, we can see that for wire B, the cross section area is four times less than wire A. So I'm going to write A over 4. Okay, so that means this has an area of A and this has an area of A over 4. Now I'm just going to write the relation of the drift speed in each of the wires. So in wire A we have the A to be current, charge density, charge of the electron and area, which is A, so I'm using this information there. And for the second wire, we have I, we have N, Q, and we have A over 4. Now, from maths, we know that we can use that method to write that, um, that fraction into a more simple way. So it will be 4i over 
and QA. So we found these for wire A and these for wire B. Now, we have to find the ratio of these two. We have to find the drift velocity of A over the drift velocity of B. So I'm just writing these relations. I'll be I and QA. And for the second wire will be 4i and qa. So, as I did before, I'm just multiplying these uh, values so I can get a more simplified version of the fraction. So, that would be i and qa over 4i and qa. So, I cancel out whatever is the same, which is everything pretty much. Therefore, what I am left with is drift velocity for A over the drift velocity for B. It will be 1 over 4. Therefore, A is the right answer. For the second question, um, we have uh, two wires again. You can pause the video and read the question for a second. So, for wire A, we have that relation, same equation as before. And for wire B, it says that the current is 2i, and the charge current density is is half because it's using a different metal. So it will be n over 2. The rest are exactly the same. So again we need to find the relation between the drift velocity of wire B compared to wire A. So I'm just going to rearrange these. So drift velocity of A will be current over charge current density charge and cross-section area and for B that will be, if I rearrange that equation, I will have 4i and qa. Yeah, I'm just rearranging the initial equation. So, um, how do these two compare? We can see that this part, this equation, the drift velocity of a, it can be found here. So, this part over here is equal to va. So therefore, we can say that the drift velocity of B is four times the drift velocity of A. And that will be the right answer.